Hey there, you are smoking with Sosa. All right, you wanna figure out how to take five pounds of pork belly and put it in seven days of bourbon cure, smoker for 24 hours and turn it into beautiful, luxurious bacon. Stick around for this next episode and I'll show you how. Hi there, I'm Raymond Sosa and this is Smoking with Sosa. Cured and smoked bacon. Hey there, welcome to the next episode of Smoking with Sosa. All right, in this episode here, we're actually going to be curing and smoking bacon. Right, so with that being said, I have, uh, you see I have some uh, four cuts of uh, premium pork belly here. You can see the bacon there. Um, anybody that's not familiar with bacon, this is quite a bit of a timely process, right? So this, uh, this pork belly we have here, it actually has the skin still on it. So during this process, we're going to be removing some of the skin. And we're going to be creating another video as to how to make your own Mexican uh, chicharrones. Um, and then we are going to uh, actually walk through how to cure to make a cure and actually how to go through the curing process. I mentioned a moment ago, this is gonna be a timely process um, from perspective of it's gonna take about seven to 10 days to actually cure. In order to cure the meat, um, there's a handful of ingredients you can utilize, but some you definitely need. Um, one is this uh, prog number one, the pink salt. Not to get confused with kosher salt, right? Kosher salt's for taste. The prog salt number one is actually to help in the curing process. Uh, we're going to need some dark brown sugar put in the use. Um, one of the uh, slabs of uh, bacon we're going to be making, I'm actually going to utilize some bourbon. So I'll show you how to do a uh, bourbon blend. Uh, definitely going to need some pure maple sugar. And then uh, during the actual smoke process, we're going to get into putting some seasoning into it. So with that being said, first and foremost, wash your meat. So we'll get started uh, washing the meat and we'll get the process going. Nothing special here, but wash your meat. All right, next step here is get that skin off the meat because later we're going to make some Mexican chicharrones. All righty, now that we have the skin off of the pork belly, um, we can move on to the cure. So um, as a reminder, the skin's not going to go to waste. We're actually going to be making some Mexican chicharrones um, with that skin, and that'll be another episode. So check out the episode for Mexican chicharrones. All right, so with that being said, the next step now is to make the actual cure. So this cure is being made for a slab of pork belly for about four and a half to five pounds of meat. So the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some dark brown sugar. So I've got half a cup of dark brown sugar. Second thing I have here is half a cup of kosher salt. Right? Keep in mind that kosher salt is going to help pull that uh, pull the liquid out of the meat, um, and it's there for uh, flavor. Not to be confused with the uh, the pink salt um, that we have here, prog number one, and this is going to be one teaspoon of prog number one. We'll put that in there. All right, and then we need a third of a cup of real maple syrup. So we'll go ahead and add our maple syrup in there. And in this batch here, um, two of the uh, four uh, slabs or the pork belly or bacon ultimately that we're gonna smoke um, are gonna actually be made with bourbon. So whatever bourbon you prefer, uh, but you'll need about a quarter of a cup of your favorite bourbon. All right, add it to your cure mixture there. And then you just give this a nice little mix. So I'll, uh, I'll ask that the camera go ahead and move here closer so we can see what's going on here inside of this, uh, inside of our bowl. So the idea is we're going to get this mixed up really well, and then we're going to put it in a vacuum bag, okay? Now, I'll tell you, here in a second, we're going to seal the vacuum bag up, but we're not, and for clarity, we're not going to uh, vacuum it all the way down. We want the moisture to be able to pull out and um, and get this rather well. All right, this next step here, I'm gonna grab this pork belly, I'm gonna place it in front of me, and I'm gonna utilize some of this cure to put on the top of this pork belly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rub it into the pork belly ever so, 
With it being completed there on the top, I'm gonna put my pork belly inside of this vacuum seal bag. Now, I'm gonna utilize the remnants of that, uh, the remaining piece bit of this uh, cure. I'm gonna put it inside the bag and then I'm gonna work it around inside of that bag on top of the pork belly itself. Now, once I'm done here, I got that bag sealed up. I'm gonna rinse some of the cure off of it and get ready to go. All right, so now that we have the, uh, the pork belly and the cure inside of our vacuum packed bag, now keep in mind, we intentionally did not vacuum this all the way um, tight because I want that fluid to be able to pull out and extract from the meat. But now that we have it all packed and sealed and ready to go, I'm gonna move this into the refrigerator. And it's important that this is laid absolutely flat, okay? Because it's gonna stiffen up, it's gonna make it easier to hang in smoke, and then it's gonna make it easier to put inside the uh, meat slicer itself. Every day for the next seven to 10 days, um, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna flip it inside the refrigerator and it's gonna keep the fluids in here moving. So um, I'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out. I trust it's gonna be outstanding. All right, so our uh, pork belly has uh, now came um, out of the refrigerator. Um, I know we just went through the process of getting it dried out, um, but um, what I'm gonna do now is I wanna make the outside of it sticky only because I'm gonna go ahead and um, get some of the seasonings on this. So I'm gonna take some of our uh, pure maple sugar. I'm gonna add it back to um, some of the uh, apple juice we have. Now, the reason I'm not applying it directly on the meat is because I don't want it to be too entirely thick, okay? We want the uh, we want that smoke to go ahead and penetrate through the uh, through the pores here. So I I added some some of the maple syrup, and I'm just gonna brush this apple juice and this maple syrup onto the uh, exterior here. Now, utilizing my apple juice and maple syrup blend. Um, I spread that out, and then now I'm going to go ahead and put my my uh, Montreal seasoning on top. You can use whichever seasonings you like. Um, in addition, you'll see that I'm going to put this on the top and bottoms of my pork belly. It's not required, but do know as you put natural sugars on your meat, um, like the apple juice and the maple syrup, it's going to cause it to caramelize, and uh, therefore the smoke is going to stick to that glaze, and it's going to make it a darker meat. Um, so keep that in consideration when you watch other videos and see that the pork belly comes out a little bit more red than dark. All right, so I'm going to get these ready utilizing my uh, pork belly hangers. I'm going to put it on my cold smoker, and uh, these cold, this cold smoker is going to stay below, below 160 degrees as we get started through the smoking process. All right, so I've got my uh, secondary uh, smoker. So this is a cold smoker. I've got my my pit actually going downstairs, and then I'm funneling the smoke up here um, to the cold smoker. And again, the idea is to uh, maintain temperatures here um, no higher than 165, 170 degrees. Um, so with that being said, we'll go ahead and open her up here. And you can see inside this smokehouse here. Open the smoker. And here we go. We're going to put these up here and get them smoking. There you have it. We'll uh, seal this back up. And We'll let it smoke for about uh, 18, 24 hours in this uh, cold smoke, and then uh, we'll then be able to color bacon. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so we've, um, we've got the pork belly off the pit. I've actually allowed it um, to cool off for about two and a half hours now and let it sit. So um, take these off here. This is a pork belly. Now I left that on there. From a distance, it looks like it's well done here. But if I can get the camera to zoom in here, you gotta keep in mind, sometimes you're gonna see these uh, pork bellies or your bacon 
that's already cut. It's gonna have a real red look to it. As you can see here, and you start to zoom in, the meat isn't burnt. This is a, um, because we put the maple syrup with the apple juice over the top of it, it's gonna have a darker uh, image to it. And you're gonna be able to see when we cut into this that uh, this thing's perfectly at uh, 150 degrees center and it's gonna make some uh, really good bacon. So with that being said, let's, uh, let me get this positioned over here so I can cut. And um, I'll have to square it up at some point so it can go through my, uh, so it can go through my, my meat uh, slicer. But, um, looky there. Now, if that isn't bacon to perfection, I don't know what is. Let's take another slice here. I got a, uh, I have a meat slicer for a reason, and it's because uh, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a master with the knife, um, but I'm gonna try to get us a, a sliver off here as we look at, uh, take a better look at the bacon here. And um, this bacon here, I wish you could smell it, but this is, uh, this is the bourbon bacon. So I can smell the maple, I can smell the bourbon here, and um, if that wasn't raw meat, I'd eat it right now. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and continue slicing this up, and then uh, we'll come back and throw a piece on the grill, uh, on the skillet actually, and uh, see how it tastes. All right, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and give our bacon a shot. Now, normally I'm not a fan of any type of electric uh, stoves or anything, but because I don't spend much time in the kitchen, I'm always on the pit, this is gonna do for today. So what we have here is this is our maple non-bourbon, and this is our bourbon slice here. I'm gonna get them both going here. All right, this is the moment uh, we have been waiting for. We'll give this a taste. Mmm. Just melt in your mouth. I taste the that bourbon coming up in the um, in the aftertaste there. Wonderful, well balanced uh, taste. This one here is the non bourbon, um, just the uh, pure maple syrup and uh, obviously they're kosher and um, yeah, pure maple and the, and the uh, kosher salt. Let's taste this. Oh, wow. Seriously, wow. It will be very hard to go back to store bought and bacon after biting into one of these luscious, luscious slices of bacon. I hope you've enjoyed it. I wish you could taste it because you would absolutely make this tomorrow. But until then, I appreciate you hanging out with us. Please hit the like button, uh, comment on the photos, on the videos below, and certainly subscribe to this page. Uh, let us know you're hanging out with us. I hope you have a blessed day and uh, enjoy your bacon.